Did you know the movie Wolf of Wall Street has the most swears of any movie of all time? This movie's got 715 swear words, 569 of which are the F word. If you look at the Wikipedia page, they even give a swears per minute measurement, which is 2.51 by the way. Now let's talk about YouTube. People have been saying that they either get less money or completely demonetized at times if they swear too much in a video. I'm not sure whether this is true or not, but either way, I thought it would be fun to make our own swear detection bot that can run on different channels and we can do some cool shit with it like rank channels compared to each other come up with a profanity score for how edgy your channel is and of course get the swears per minute to see if anyone can be wolf of wall street so that's what we're gonna do in this video i have no idea if it's gonna work you guys so we'll see what happens and if you're wondering i swear this is a good use of my time i swear you get it to score a channel, we have to take a sample of its videos. Let's just say the most recent 10. We'll pull out the swear words with code and then get the average swears per minute across all these videos. And finally, rinse and repeat for as many channels as we want. The first thing I thought would be to download the video with some code and then send it to a speech to text API. Luckily, Google has one of these where you can send any video or music clip and extract the words. So that makes it really easy. This will give us a video transcript that we can start pulling swear words out of and doing different things with. So a pretty good solution, right? Wrong. It is actually against the terms of service to download any YouTube video off the platform. So we need another plan. I cannot believe I didn't think of this first, but there's an entire YouTube data API just for developers where you can download things like, uh, I don't know, the auto-generated captions for a video that gives you a whole transcript. All it takes is setting up credentials, which is kind of a pain in the ass and reading the documentation which is definitely a pain in the ass but if you can do that you can pull a lot of different kinds of data from the site once you do that you can write some code like this which will get you a list of the captions in all the different languages uh, pull you out a single caption and then right around this line is where you realize oh you can't actually get captions from any video that you don't own so that was just a huge waste of time now as annoying as that was i did discover one super valuable thing it turns out when you press the little caption button it goes to fetch the captions from a url now if you copy that url you can actually see all the captions but it's not quite that simple and unfortunately it never is in fact coding is kind of just like solving one problem and then another one comes up in its place uh over and over again that's actually pretty depressing now for one minute of nerd shit that it didn't take me long to figure out at all we create some web scraping code that'll open a Chrome window and then click on that caption button. Now, when that happens, we fire off an XHR request or asynchronous request that we have to also set a listener for in our scraping code. Within that XHR request, there's a property for that URL, which we can capture, but this URL isn't always in English. If you're PewDiePie, you have 13 different subtitles. So luckily we can solve this one just by directly changing the URL string, setting language to English, and making sure we're using the auto-generated subtitles, which should always be there. Now we can see the subtitles in here, but it's in this weird JSON structure that YouTube is able to read. But we're not YouTube and we don't want any of this BS. We just want to extract the raw transcript. And this code right here does just that, converting this mess into a clean single string of subtitles. And just like that, we can get the subtitles for any different video on YouTube. I'm glad you stuck with me through that. Now, the fun part, the swearing. Parsing out the swear words is easy. We just have to count the number of appearances of each word we want to look for. Then we can divide the total number by the length of the video to get swear words per minute. After a while, code can get pretty boring to look at, even for me. So what I did next was create a pretty simple front end that allows you to put in any video URL and see how many swear words there are in it. All you have to do is paste in a video URL and it will tell you exactly what you want to know. Okay, we are definitely not done until we find out who is the profanity king or queen of YouTube. We have to rank channels compared to each other. Now, of course, we want to get swears per minute, but not all swears are created equal. Let's be honest. So what I did was give each swear word a rank from Logan Paul fan all the way up to you're canceled, which allowed me to create the swear word index. This lets us give every channel a meta score in addition to the swears per minute, which is kind of a more accurate representation of how profane the channel is. With a bit more web scraping, we can capture all the recent video URLs for a given channel. So we'll run this on one channel first to make sure it works. 
just don't try to scrape all the videos at the same time and crash your computer uh i'm not sure who would do that you know what just forget i said that anyway once it works it's just a matter of running this on as many channels as i can think of i wanted to get a list of the top 100 channels and run it on all of them but more than half of them are actually music or foreign so that wouldn't work on either of those to filter these down well that would be a bunch of extra work so i'm just manually putting in as many as i can and then having them run all right i could think of this many people before my head started to hurt we got some fortnite players we got some comedians we got some comedians and uh disclaimer i do not watch all these channels they're just the ones i can think of now some of these are clearly going to swear a little bit more than others but we'll see if anyone can break that wolf or wall street benchmark of swears per minute now for the best part you can just sit back and watch your code run just sit back and watch your code all right it usually doesn't work on the first time but when it does work that's a good feeling all right how to go well not every video worked and then we might have had a few errors up here but we're just gonna pretend those didn't happen all right but when we look at our database we got 27 channels so that's not too bad and if you multiply that out we looked at 270 videos so i'm gonna build a front end to display the channels with their rankings uh to see who came out on top yo looks like trevor wallace edges out michael reeves for the number one spot but no one got even close to wolf of wall street we've got swears per minute and then the meta score converts into a little ranking on the side here for the scale we've got hardcore edgy wholesome and then pristine or not even a single swear in 10 videos which is pretty impressive when you think about it and i have to say i'm a little bit surprised that some people in this list filthy frank not as filthy as these other guys was this idea dumb you know what don't answer that but if you do have other project ideas let me know in a comment i'm going to be doing a lot more projects so feel free to subscribe if you're not subscribed anyway i'll catch you guys in the next video